All right. Hi, this is Lou Coley. I uh, just finished a show here at the Washington Center in Olympia, and I uh, wanted to make a video in response to Donovan Klein. Uh, he showed his nice little tractor setup for playing stingers and background music. Uh, I wanted to show what I use, uh, which is a software called Ferrado, made by Rogue Amoeba. I'll put a link in the description. It's a $50 program, works similar to QLab, um, where you can load any kind of file, MP3, plays most everything I throw at it, and then you have it all queued, and then I, it's over here on the Mac. And then in addition to that, I use a Stream Deck that's made by Elgato, and that has all my cues on it. And I'm going to film a little of that in just a moment. Okay, so rather than do a screen recording or anything, I'm going to just film a little bit of Farago here. So this is the surface over here on the right, the window. Uh, let me see if I can get it to lock on focus. There we are. So uh, what you can do is then grab your files. Uh, I loaded everything into a folder here so that all my fo audio files are loaded here. You can't quite see it, but uh, if I click and drag a file over, you'll see it'll load into hotkeys. In this case, I'm gonna drop it on the Y key. I have my other files loaded up here, one through 10. I, li I don't like to go more than 10 because of how the number of buttons on the Stream Deck but that's how easy it is to load a file into Farago and get it ready to queue so that when you press the Y key, it will play it. And then there's a fade command to fade it out, and then it stops playing. You can see it, it de-highlights whenever it's done. There's some other nice features like Solo um, that you can click on each file individually so that when you trigger another track, the previous one will stop. Uh, beyond that, uh, there's also Sets over here on the left so that you can change between sets. In this case, I'm using three CDs worth, each divided into 10 tracks. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one I just added. Plays a nice, fun animation there. And then we'll move over to the Stream Deck where I've loaded um, some cues here. I have one through zero being uh, the keys that are pressed. So you can see the keys, the shortcut key that's applied to it is one. Let me turn on the autofocus again, there we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And that corresponds to here, one through zero. And then in addition, I put three uh, to control the sets, set one, set two, set three. I'll suppress that again, set one, set two, set three. And then I'll play pause. That will do the command where it says pause all at the top. Uh, that's if I need to pause the track and then resume. And then there's a fade all command, which is a guy with the hands, so you can't really see it that well. But um, that will do a, about a second and a half fade. It's very uh, quick. So if I happen to trigger something, let's, I'll go ahead and fire a, a track. We can see it's playing on my two channels here. And then it's playing here, and then I'll press the fade all. And the track has stopped. There we go. And one more thing, if I press, press the play again, I can press pause, you can see it pause, and then resume right where you were. So I find this useful to play uh, stingers and any kind of sound effects I might need. In this case, I'm using it on a ballet today. Um, so I'll have that in addition to the output on my Mac of either iTunes Music or whatever other player that I am happen to be using. So uh, I find it very quick and easy to load. So this is great for guys that might um, you dance festivals or a lot of summer stuff where they're handing you a pile of CDs or MP3s and things like that. You could load it all quickly onto your phone, or excuse me, onto your Mac, or this is Mac only. So uh, you can load it quickly onto your computer and then have your cues dialed up, ready to go, and then be able to fire them in order without having to deal with anything like that. And then if there is a quick set change or anything like that, you can quickly grab and move these out of order, whichever order you want. In this case, I'm doing it sets of 10, but you can see it maps to nearly every key on the keyboard um, in just like a QWERTY keyboard's laid out. And then there's also another set that starts again with the Alt button. So Alt 1, Alt 2, on down. So you can have, I believe it's 64 triggers per set. Um, so that's, that's a lot of triggers for any kind of sound effects. I rarely need more, that many, but it's nice to know it can do it. So this is a quick loading file. Um, QLab can be a little slow sometimes uh, in having to program it. So if you need to qu program quick on the fly and have your sound effects ready to go, this is the way to go. Again, it's Farago. It's made by Rogue Amoeba. It's 50 bucks. Uh, I think it's a great program. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.